you two, welcome to another episode of Amy Hacks Life. In last week's episode, I was talking about this baby, my Filofax. So um, I gave you a tour of what's actually inside my Filofax, but um, as I said last week, what I am going to be doing this week is I'm going to show you all of the stationery and all of the supplies that I use to decorate my Filofax and keep it organized. So I'm going to swivel you guys around and you can have a look at my Filofax station. So this is my Filofax station in all of its glory. It's got all of my craft and stationary supplies that I use specifically for my Filofax. I've got, um, in my craft room, I've got just hundreds upon hundreds of um, bits of craft supplies and stationery and stuff. But um, what I needed to do was separate the things that I use specifically for my Filofax to make sure that I kept my Filofax nice and organised and looking beautiful. So I'm going to start at the very bottom. This is a Martha Stewart uh, stationery organiser and it comes in three different colours. It comes in this uh, like aqua green, it comes in like a like chocolatey brown and it comes in like a creamy colour and um, it's available at Staples and it's um, yeah it's really good it's all in separate pieces um, and I just kind of you can um, like sort of tweak it to how you want your kind of stationary organiser to be but this was just perfect for my Filofax supplies so I'm going to start at the bottom so the first bit is like a drawer um, and on top of it I've just put some scrapbook paper inside the drawer ta-da um, I put some kind of like cardboard boxes this one here was um, it had like Easter sort of crafty supplies in it and I just thought it was ideal I mean you can see the little Easter eggs on it um, but yeah it was just ideal for what I needed and in this I've got um, some pegs that I found which were the colour scheme I was kind of going for with my file effects the pinks the blues and the yellows um, and this little device here is a um, Tipex mouse and um, it's really really useful for, for um, if you've just bought a Filofax and all the pages have got like the really annoying Filofax logo I don't know if anybody else who's um, who uses Filofaxes um, I don't know if they like to use the um, have the Filofax logo on there but I can't stand it it looks ugly and annoying so I tipex it out and then I decorate it um, over the top of the tipex then I've got my big um, stamp pads, ink pads here, um, one's from Versa Craft and one's from Memento, I think, yeah, Memento, um, yeah, and, um, they're pretty good, I like them, um, then I've got some more Versa Craft, um, ones here, some mini ones, and I bought, like, um, a bundle that someone was getting rid of all of their ink pads, so I just picked out the ones that I thought were nice, I mean, I haven't even used some of these, um, ones that I thought would go with my Philo set of facts are like pinks, blues, greens, um, like there's another Versacraft one there, and there's a black one just in case I need to use a black one, but I haven't used that one yet. And then I've got some stamps there as well, just some extra ones, because you'll see in a minute that all my most of my stamps are up here somewhere. <laughs> Finger. Um, then um, it's my, I've got my Rapesco, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, it's a um, diary punch and um, if you put it on the biggest one then it's for um, personal and if you put it on the smaller one it's for a mini file effects and of course I've got personal so it's on the bigger one. Um, I made this the organiser out of a cardboard box, it's a bit rubbish. I At the time I wasn't really paying attention, I was just kind of doing it so it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit naff but it'll do. Um, then we come to the very back of the drawer. I've just got my favourite post-its there. These are really pretty. They're pink and, and blue. Um, and then I've got my binder clips, which are in different colours. Pinks, greens, um, blues and yellows. So I've got my um, scrapbook papers, which are the bigger ones. The sort of A4 sort of size ones up there. Then on the next level, which is, um, it's like a um, an in-box tray. Um, 
um, from Martha Stewart again. I have got, first of all, this roll of sticker labels from Kath Kidson. I love Kath Kidson. It's, um, she just does such good stuff. I love her red uh, designs. And um, if you saw my file effects um, video, which I will link in the description bar below, just here, just there. Yeah, you see it? It's just there. Good. Um, it's, um, I bought this from Waterstones and um, you'll see in my file effects video that on my year planner, like year um, pull out thing, it's got um, a Kath Kidson label on it um, with um, the year. So I'm going to move them aside a second just so you can see the rest of it. And now this is the scrapbook paper that's Littles. You get... Um, like uh, you can get these um, scrapbook paper like um, booklets and these are really good um, and then I've just got some random stuff that I've collected over the years I've got some really small ones here um, yeah these are pretty cool um, got those and then right in the back I've got like this little box which I can't remember where I got this box from now this tin but it's really cute um, and it's got all of these uh, stickers that I have collected and those are really cute so the next level if you are a fan of washi tapes you're gonna love this next level it is just loads of washi tape um, I've collected these um, over the sort of year and um, some of them I've ordered online but most of them I've just bought at like craft shops or um, another good place to get it is actually Waterstones Waterstones do some really nice, lovely washi tapes but um and um, some of them I bought from um, which ones was it now I think it was these ones was it these ones uh, I think it was these ones no it was these ones these ones here I bought from um, Sainsbury's actually um, which is really odd but they were doing some washi tapes I was like oh this is really cool so I'm gonna get them um, and a um, few others um, I bought from different places like this one here I bought from Hobbycraft this one's pretty cool this one was on my um, wish list if you saw my video last week it just says I really 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 like this I want it I think it's fab blah 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 it's just got really cool little quotes on it um, so yeah I've got some really lovely washi tapes there these ones here are my favourites though these ones came in a set and I um, Instagrammed these um, they are pretty cool they're really pretty um so yeah, there's a lot of washi tapes there. Got some with cupcakes on it. I haven't really used those. Oh, I have used those. I used them in like a menu planning thing when I was menu planning, but they were a bit rubbish. Menu planner. I love the bunting one. That one's pretty cool. So, yeah, there's my washi tapes. If you want me to do a detailed video on my washi tapes, then let me know. On to the next level. Now, the next level's a bit complicated, so what I might do is take it out and show you on my desk. That's probably the easier thing to do. So as you can see, you can take all of these um, bits apart. So um, mine comes in, I think it's, is it four? Yeah, four, four pieces. So we've got the thing with the washi tapes in it, which you could probably use as like post-its and different things. And then you've got like an in tray, which is this one here. And then you've got the one that's got the drawer at the bottom. So that's another sort of in tray with the drawer at the bottom. And it all kind of fits together nicely. It all kind of slots together. In um, this compartment here, I've got my stamps. I showed you these um, on my uh, file effects video, and um, this one's my favourite. It's by Smash, and um, I mean they've all got different different things, and you can like twist them around to show um, to to stamp something. Like this one has um, smashed, stolen, oh snap. I heart this, today is, which is the one that I use, um, this warrants a fist pump, which is really odd, um, mad props, don't entirely know what that means, um, then it's got like a, um, just like a, a rectangular box, I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, yeah, then it's just got a box, so you could just write anything in the box, and then it says, um, got happy place, hot mess, and to do, so that one's really good, because it's got like a to do one, and it's got like today is, and I use the today is um, for my journaling, um, and then this one here, this one is from uh, Dear Lizzie, um, this one is quite nice as well, I bought this one really, because I, I love some of the designs on it, it's got like, um, uh, it's the first one is best day ever. Second one is my favourite, and it's like a bunting. 
Um, you probably can't see that very well. But um, yeah, and then it says celebrating. Then it's got like a zigzaggy one. And then it says a day in the life. Then it's got like a flag. Um, big day. Then it's got like another sort of bunting one, but it's like with hearts. And it says lovely day on this date. And then it says photographed on. And then the last one is like blank. So yeah, those are really cool. I really like them because they've got dates on them. Uh, and then I got these. I got um, in Hobbycraft, they were doing a um, bundle of like stamps um and you could get like loads of them and they're really cute they've got like this one's got an owl squirrel and a, like a, a cross stitch heart which i love and then um got like a bird and a flower and like a another like a daisy sort of um dandelion that's the one dandelion flower um so those are really cute and but there was so many in there but those ones are just my favorites that i use quite often and then i've got another one here that's got like um different hearts and that's a birthday cake for if it's someone's birthday i stamp on that date and then like a star right so the next compartment um is a bit of a mishmash of stuff really um i've got these cool um post-its and page flag sets here these are really cute um i can't exactly remember where i got them from oh this one came from sainsbury's um and this one here i think this one came from wilkinson's so yeah these are pretty cool um that's them and then um i've got these are um journaling cards um from lardy da and lardy da are lovely but um you have to um afford it be able to afford it so yeah this was quite expensive i think it was like um like four quid or something four pounds i think i can't remember but um yeah so it's quite expensive but i just love these journaling cards they're really cute so yeah got them I haven't used them yet because I think they're just so expensive that I don't think <laughs> I, I use them for a very special occasion right and then um, these are all my stickers I've got loads of stickers most of them are from either paper chase or, or from the internet so um, yeah there's quite a lot there if you want me to go through them I shall go through them I've got more stickers um, elsewhere but these are the ones that I quite like to use for my file effects so they're all there and then um, oh, more stickers then I've got, um, these are just so cool. I got this, um, this is the tin that the, um, pegs that I showed you came in. Um, they were from Sainsbury's as well. Um, if I could open the tin. But these, I bought these online and they came all the way from America. They are bunting stamps, uh, bunting punches. So you, like, um, you unlock them with the little lock thing there and um yeah you punch and um i love these i literally i went mad for them as soon as i saw them i was like i am getting these i don't care how expensive they are i just want them so um yeah i i love these there's like a one that's more like a pun it and then there's one that's more kind of like bunting so they go in there they fit really nicely in that tin as well so they go in there and then um last week in my file effects video i showed you um that i use glue dots and i bought these um from i think it was hobbycraft in like um the sale bin that they had and they were only like 50p and yeah so i use them a lot as i showed you and then um i do have a roll so the the sheets are much better for kind of on the go sort of stuff but um i do use the roll of glue dots as well they're just really useful so i've got them then in this tin is like really random stuff i can't even remember where this tin Oh yeah, I remember. My sister-in-law got me a sewing kit for Christmas, I think it was. It was like a mini sewing kit, which was very cute. Um, and in this tin, I just have all the random stuff, like if I've got extra supplies of things, or like I've made a mistake with something, and I just... I, like if I make something and I like think to myself, like, I could use that for some somewhere else, so... I've done that and that is an example of these are these labels that I made which were a little bit too small for the file effects so I thought well I could maybe use them somewhere else so they're there and then I've got an extra one of the bunting uh, washi tape there and then I've got extra post-its my favorite post-its if you saw those last week then I've got a bookmark a magnetic bookmark and now this is really cute but I haven't been able to use it yet so yep that's them and then that just kind of slots in there like that. And then in here is just um, a pencil pot 
that it's just got loads of crafty things that I use quite often like these are my decoupage brushes scissors um, glue um, spatulas pens pencils got a nail file in there yeah a few other things that's for doing um, uh, what's it called foil art where you like scratch off um, the stuff um, nail file pencils pens just yeah just random stuff there's a beautiful bookmark that my best friend got me for my birthday um, yeah so that's really cute and that's it basically all right so that is it that is my filofax station for decorating and organizing my filofax right so that's it that's all things filofax so if you enjoyed this video then um subscribe the link is below and if you missed last week's episode then um about my actual filofax and the tour inside of my filofax then the link is also below um i hope you enjoyed this video and i shall see you in my next one the link to my blog is also below and um, please follow me on social media if uh, you want to uh, all of those links are in the description bar below so i shall see you in my next video bye